Hey everybody, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about what is the purpose of having a Shopify split banner. Now for those who don't know, what a split banner is, is there's two different kinds of split banners. You have a two-way split banner and you have a three-way split banner. What you guys are looking at on screen now is an example of a three-way split banner. A two-way split banner is really no different. The only difference is there are two photos as opposed to three. So that's really it. Now, what is a split banner? What purpose does it serve? And what's the benefit of it? And how do you set one up for your store? Well, let's go ahead and talk about that. So really, the purpose of a split banner is to segment the different categories in a visual field on your Shopify store. So let's say, for example, I sell clothing for men. And for women, well, that means I have two main categories. I have men's categories and I have women's categories of clothing. Well, then I could create a two-way split banner of just simply two photos. One that's related to men's, one that's related to women's, and effectively split them. What really the main purpose is, is like I said, just to segment different categories within your Shopify store from a visual aspect so that the consumer doesn't necessarily have to look through all the different collections to figure out what are the main categories of products being sold. Now, just to really hit the nail on the head here, it's very important to, through your marketing, prior to the customer getting to the website, it's very, very important for them to actually be aware or have an idea of what kind of collections or categories that already exist on your store. In fact, something that I learned is you're probably not doing your marketing properly if your end consumer doesn't know about the different collections that you're selling. The reason why I even go as far as to say that is because when a consumer comes up on your website, they should already have the premonition, the idea of what they're looking for. They shouldn't be waiting to see what kind of products are being sold. They should be coming to your website with an intention and a desire for a very set specific product. And that's how you increase your conversion rate. So let's go ahead over here and edit our Wolf of Shopify theme. Let's go ahead and hit customize. And for those who don't know, we are using the classic Wolf of Shopify theme, also known as the Wolf of Shopify 3.0 theme package, which is a $125 theme. And you guys can use this theme for a lot of different categories, a lot of different, you know, different products that you're selling. I'll leave the link in the description for this theme. I am an affiliate. This is the theme that we're actively using. Now, something that I want to say is that there's all these different kinds of themes out there. Not every theme can offer you the same things. So in this specific theme, we can create what's referred to as a grid. Now, preloaded and pre-built, there are grid builders within. And here with the grid builder, we have three banners. Like I said, this is a three-way uh, split banner. Now, if you we go over here and look at the grid builder itself on the information for each banner, we can see here that we have a column size of four by 12. Well, that obviously makes sense because we need three columns. Three columns multiplied a column size of four is equal to a perfect 12 out of 12. So whenever you want to have a split two-way banner and not a three-way banner, instead of having the column size of 4 out of 12, it will now change to 6 out of 12. Now notice that this image is a 6 out of 12, but the rest are 4 out of 12s. Well, what we have to do is hide one of the banners, and then we have to make the second banner also a 6 out of 12 so that it can fit evenly. And now we have a split banner, a two-way split banner. In my case, I don't want to have a two-way split banner because this is a product, just this is a website simply for women's clothing. And we have three main categories, right? We have tops, we have bottoms, and we have accessories. So in that case, I'm just going to enable all of them and I'm going to revert them all back to a four out of 12 column size. And what that will do is it will evenly segment each category as you're seeing here with a four out of 12 column equal sizing and three main categories. So that's essentially how to use a split banner. Once again, it's different for every theme. Some themes might have this feature. Most themes will not have this feature, but hey, there are a lot of themes that do have this feature. Uh, not to say that most you know themes in the world don't necessarily have something similar to this. They might, but it's not going to be exact. So that's essentially how you create a split banner for Shopify.